Bidirectional sync, file versioning, and collaboration are only some of the features that CloudStation provides. We'll show you how to get started in this video. First, I'm going to log into my system as an administrator. Next, I'll open up Package Center to install the server component for CloudStation. Using the search in the upper left for CloudStation yields two results. The server is on the left, so I'll click Install. A notification lets me know that the install is complete. Access to the CloudStation configuration panel has been added to the main menu of the DSM in the upper left. For convenience, I'm going to add this icon to the DSM's desktop. For this tutorial, a Quick Connect ID has already been configured. However, if you haven't set up a Quick Connect ID for your system yet, you can reach the Quick Connect settings in the Action menu. In this case, I want to set up CloudStation for use on my computer. Clicking on the button for computers opens up a guide. Use the download button in the guide to get the latest version of the CloudStation client for your computer, then run it. In a few clicks, the client will install and run. Now I need to tell the client how to connect to the disk station. I'll start with the Quick Connect ID, then input my non-admin login credentials. However, I know that this will trigger a login failure. I know that my credentials are correct, so what's wrong? Well, first the account needs to be granted access to the CloudStation service. To do this, switch back to the CloudStation panel in the DSM, click Privileges, then the Enable box for the accounts that should have access to the CloudStation service, then click Save. Now the client will connect without problems. Once connected, click the folder icon next to the shared folder on your Synology NAS that you would like to sync, then choose the folder the data should be synced to on your client. In this case, I'll sync to a folder that I created for CloudStation in my user folder. Make sure to click Enable next to the folders that you would like to sync, then click Next. After that, you're ready to start syncing files. To quickly access your CloudStation folder, double-click on the icon next to the clock to bring up the File Explorer in Windows to the folder that you configured earlier. For OS X, this process is nearly identical. Click and hold on the CloudStation icon next to your system clock Choose Open CloudStation folder, then the folder that you configured to sync to. A finder window for the sync directory will open. Files and folders that are already synced between your computer and your NAS will have a green check mark next to them. I'm going to bring up the synced folder on my NAS so that I can verify syncing is taking place. For this example, I will simply duplicate the data that already exists in my CloudStation directory. As you can see, a blue circular arrow appears to indicate that the file is being synced. In just a moment, the sync is complete. Refreshing the file station window reveals the duplicated folder. That's all there is to getting started with CloudStation. Be sure to check out other features of CloudStation, such as file versioning, selective sync, syncing one client to multiple Synology NAS, and syncing between multiple Synology products.